Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about behavior level modeling. In this video, we are going to discuss about the purpose of the behavior level modeling and why we prefer behavior level modeling in the designs and why we use behavior level, mod behavior level modeling rather than get level modeling and adapt modeling. Let's look at the overview of behavior level modeling. In a circuit designing, data flow level and gate level both constitute design description process, which relates modules, instantiations, and their interconnections. These processes are effective as long as the gate count remains within the few hundreds. As the gate count increases, the vector size also gets increases to accommodate that gate flow level modeling, along with its increased functional complexity. So, in this uh, gate level modeling and data flow modeling, there is a charts of increasing function complexity to remove the complexity of the designing of the circuit we use behavioral modeling for a suitable designs therefore behavioral modeling is imagined for design description at an abstract level constructs are used for layer expansion of design and behavioral modeling and aim at the system level description to stimulate its functionality the language constructs introduced so far allow hardware to be described at a relatively detailed level. Uh, let's look at the behavioral modeling constructions. Modeling a circuit with logic gates constant assignment reflects quite closely the logic structure of a circuit being modeled. However, these constructs do not provide the power of abstractions necessary for describing complex high-level aspects of the system. This procedural constructs described in this chapter are well suited to tackling problems such as describing a micro processor of implementing complex timing checks. So this is the process of behavior modeling. And uh, finally, behavior models contain procedural statements that control the simulations and manipulate variables of the data type previously described. These statements are contained within procedures. Each procedure has an activity flow associated with it. Uh, let's look at the overview of behavioral modeling. The activity starts at the control constructs initial and always each initial statement and each always statement starts a separate activity flow. All of the activity flows are concurrent allowing the user to model the inherent concurrence of hardware. During simulation of this model, all of the flows defined by the initial and alpha statements starts to get at the simulation time zero. The initial statement is used once and always statement is used repeatedly step by step. And the example of the behavior modeling. Let's look at the example for the behavior modeling. And uh, every every modeling starts with the keyword called module. And we have taken a keyword called behave the module behave these are the registers and initial begin we have given a and b value respectively here always symbol always represents a instantiation in behavioral modeling only always is used in only behavioral modeling not rather than gate level and data flow level and here we have begin the time steps 50 time steps are used in this program as per the convenience and we have ended the program and after 100 time steps of we have ended the B manipulation and finally we have ended the program and let's look at the description of the program expected above in this model the registers the registers A and B initialized to binder 1 0 like this here we have given a as 1 and b also b as 1 the initial statement is then complete and does not execute the again during the simulation run this initial statement contains a begin and a end block of statements in this begin end block is a is initialized first followed by the b and all the statements are also start at the time 0 but the values of the variables does not change until the time specified by the delay controls have gone by thus registers A inverts after 50 time units and register B inverts after 100 time units as described in the program here B invert 100 time steps and A 
described in a 50 time step process. Since the always statement repeats, the model produces two, two square waves. Here we have given two always, so we have we can have two square waves, and finally the program ends with the register set toggles with a period of 100 time units and register B toggles with a period of 200 time units. The two always statements proceed concurrently throughout the entire simulation run. Thanks for watching video. Bye.